Kia ora everybody, um, Sophie Hoskins here, the Eons Kaiarahi for Outdoor Education. I'm super lucky to have Kramer Ronaki with us this evening. Um, good evening, Kramer. Ora, kia ora. Kia ora. Uh, Kramer is, um, he is a kaiako at Unifero Area School. Um, and I've met Kramer through the um, Outdoor Education uh, Subject Expert Group as part of the um, team that is writing the Outdoor Education Achievement Standards. And he's been a massive um, part of that team and um, just his, yeah, whakaro around some of the, um, the ways of um, outdoor education moving into the the future has been pretty special and um, yeah, so been so lucky to have you on the team, Kramer. And he has um, shared with us his whakaro or his thoughts around um, the health and PE whakatauki and what that means for outdoor education and has kindly offered to uh, share that um, with us. So um, I'll pass it over to you, Kramer, to um, introduce yourself a little bit further and um We'll crack into it. Okay. Uh, Kia ora no tato, uh, uh, Sophie. Uh, ko rangiri tōku maunga, ko makatū tōku moana, uh, ko te arawa tōku waka, ko tapuika tōku iwi, ko tapuika tōku hapu, uh, ko ngāti moko rawa ko tawaka ki tōku marai. Uh, no te puke a hau, ingari he, um, he nohoana au ki onifiro i naianei, ai he kaiaka hau, uh, ke Onifero, uh, te kura takiwa Onifero, uh, tēnei te mihi tia koutou, ko Kremo Rona ki tōku ingoa. Um, thank you Sophie for um, inviting me here tonight. Um, it's been a while but uh, yes, just to uh, talk about our whakatauki. Um, yes, yeah, so we're sort of just uh, uh, giving my thoughts on uh, picking the whakatauki to pieces and interpreting in the way that I see it and, and how we can use it as part of our teachings for our tamariki. Because um, it's all about our tamariki, um, and it's all about our our connection to uh, te taiao. Um, how can we connect positively as uh, kaioko and then, uh, you know, um, share that with our tamariki and make them better learners, make them better people, um, so that they can move on into the environment that we want to look after. Mm. Yes, yeah, so, um, that's my uh, whakaro today in terms of uh, that. So. Fire away, Sophie, and just let me know what sort of questions you want me to answer, and then we'll go yep. from there. Okay, so the, the health and physical education, um, Whakatauki, uh, he oranga nako he pikinga waiora. Um, right. In terms of what that, um, or what your whakaro is of that um, in relation to outdoor education, um, kind of if you break it down a little bit, would you sure. share that sure. with us? Yes, yes. I, I mean, and just to let everyone know that this, you know, um, you know, whakatauki can mean a lot of things for different people. Yeah. Uh, depending on your situation and um, what you hope to use it for as well. And this is my whakaro. So somebody might, someone else might have a different whakaro and different idea of um, what it actually means. So nobody is wrong in terms of how they interpret it uh, yeah. and the way that I see it. So my whakaro and he, he oranga ngako he pikinga wairua, a wairua, sorry. And it's just the, um, I guess the, the first part of it, he oranga ngako, you know, it's a straight, straight to the heart in terms of, you know, what we believe in. Um, and I'm coming from a Māori perspective here where our connection is so deep in terms of te taiao with Ranginui, our Sky Father and Papa Tūnuku, our Mother Earth, and everything that in, in, is in between. Um, it's on a cellular level, it's on a spiritual level, it's on um, you know the levels of the different senses that we that we have um, as Māori people. Um, you know that connection to our whenua is so deep; it's um, it's hard to explain and it's hard to feel as well in terms of trying to describe it. Um, but that that first part there, he oranga ngāko, it's just, you know, it's just about your your heart and your feelings towards our environment. And us as outdoor education uh, teachers, you know, we all, we all love the environment. We all 
want to be part of the environment. We we want our environment to be there for our tamariki mo kopuna and for all our tamariki that are coming through. And you know, it's it's, it's keeping that connection strong within your wairua, within your spirit, so that it stays strong for our tamariki. Now, I know that all outdoor educators, you know, we're all the same in terms of what we want for our environment. And that the first part of that oranga naku is about your heart, where your heart lies in terms of the situation with, with the outdoor education. Um, and the many things that you can get from outdoor education and how we teach our tamariki, you know, and, and my sort of, um, my interpretation, how I broke it down was, um, we we want our kaupapa to be true, honest, and dedicated specifically to the ones who walk around with our hearts in their chest, and we're talking about our tamariki there. So in terms of that, um, the first part of the whakatauki, uh, it is our tamariki that we we want to instill um, our uh, kaitiaki tanga of the environment within our tamariki. Um, it is just, it is that wholehearted connection to the environment, how we keep it the way it is, you know, using a te taiao to enrich our lives, uh, enrich our wairua, enrich our thoughts, enrich our, our lives as whānau um, within that environment as well. So, you know, there's so many different ways that you can pick this, um, this whakatauki apart and it's sort of, from my point of view, I think I just sort of a, just a touch of, of what I think about it in terms of um, of that this whakatauki itself as well. Hey, picking my way order, it's just, for me, it's just like, um, obviously, we're talking about the uplifting of something in terms of a state of being. And for me, the way order is the many, I guess, as outdoor educators, we go through a lot of things in terms of te taiao, especially the awa, um, the moana, you know, the rain that comes from Ranginu, which is the, probably the purest rain that we could ever think of in terms of Te Māori, because it's coming straight from our Aotua. Um, and it's uplifting us as people. It's uplifting us as educators for our tamariki. Um, to be able to teach them everything to do with te taiao, nature, um, why it's important for them to be our next kaitiaki of that area of outdoor education um, and everything that encompasses it. You know, um, we talked about it in our sex, how it's a simple, mm. simple thing where, you know, we look at the word kaitiaki, being a kaitiaki of, of te taiao, but it's a reciprocal thing as well. You know, our, our environment is going to look after us if we look after them or after it or after tāne mahuta or after, you know, um, uh, tangaroa or after tawhiri mātea and everything that, that, that dwells in um, his dwell, um, his reign as well. So, yeah. So that the way order is 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 the the essence that we you know we're made up of as well. The way order that um allows us to live, I guess, and that's that's sort of my fakaro in terms of the the way order and te taio. Yeah. In terms of Te Māori, we look at the the many rivers and streams that that go through our forests and and that they move down into the Moana, to the to the whare of the Atamaroa, um, the many veins of Papatuanuku, um, looking after her and making sure that um, we do that to the best of our ability, by teaching our kids through our subject, not only just through outdoor education, but you know, as 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 parents, as as teachers, as uncles or aunties or nana or koro, you know, just teaching them everything to do with them. Um, being a good person to our environment to make them, or not to make them, but to hopefully they become better people from it. You know, yeah. having that aroha for our te taiao and having that spiritual connection to te taiao um, uplifts this whakatauki. Um, yeah, and I remember, I remember you sharing something around like that spiritual connection of um, as well when you're you're out in that sacred rain uh, from Ranginui and the the cleansing of that as well. Yes, I mean like you know when you I, I there was I was at a hui and one of the ladies just said 
when I'm really down and out, the first thing I go to is the water. And the water purifies my way to it. It, uh, it uplifts me. Mm. It allows me to clear my thoughts so that, you know, kato, I can just settle and just recollect myself in terms of that. And then mm. for me, it's sort of, it's just exactly the same sort of whakaro as well as that. Our environment, you know, it's such a beautiful environment. And if we need to, if we just sit there and listen to it, it's going to be wonderful, wonderful things for us. You know, um, uh, I, I talk to my kids about um, going in there and feeling the force, like the mm. Star Wars and stuff. There, yeah. I don't know, but it's 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 exactly like that. You know, yeah, uh, you feel it. Sometimes you feel it. You just can't describe it. But um, and I know talking to our and our hui at uh, Seeks that you know, we all have that same feeling when we go into the environment we, we just love it you yeah. know we just want our kids to love it like, as well and teach them that so that they can be really sympathetic and you know full of love in their hearts I guess and the way to us and that's what we want for all our tamariki that we're teaching and our tamariki yeah. that we have as parents as well that's yeah, that's an awesome, um, an awesome way to to break it down, and um, just really cool to hear your fakado around that. Yeah, um, it's just um, you know, it's just a lot of things that I've I've learned through through my parents. Um, you know, my dad was a hunter, and he yeah. he spoke that ill and didn't speak it to us. You know, it wasn't until we had kids that he spoke to. Uh, um, well, not so much my kids, but my um. My sister's kids and we're like, hey, it's like this big Maori. But um his way to uh in the <clears throat> in the Mahiri was 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 awesome, you know, and just my mother was um uh, a person who was able to go into the bush and just talk about Ongwa and talk about the different things that you could make out of um a lot of the things in Tetaya, but you know, you take stuff, you've got to give it back as well. Mm. You know, and that's where we come up with our karakia. Yeah. Um, this sort of stuff as well. But, um, you know, in terms of the whakatauki and moving back to the whakatauki, this is my my whakaro on that. But, you know, somebody else might have something a bit different on that, which is okay. Mm. And, and, but I, I do think that's the same kōrero. Yeah. And we all have the same feelings towards it in terms of the... Um, he ordered an aku. He picking a way order. Um, you know, the sacred waters of Nau of Ranginui, the sacred waters of Papatuanuku. Um, this Fakatuki encompasses all of that in terms of our uh, Kaitiaki Tanga towards Ranginui, father of all fathers, and Papatuanuku, the mother of all mothers. Kiyoke ne Fakaro, just in my thoughts. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Well, thank thanks so much for sharing. It's all good, all good. Anything else uh, you want to add before I stop it there? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I just, yeah. no, I just, um, I think there's a massive opportunity in terms of what we're doing now with this Mato Rangamari coming through through all subjects. That it's an opportunity for all of our people um, in Aotearoa to be to see another level of of Te Māori. You know, yeah. um, I truly believe that it, it will enrich everybody's life. And I know it's going to be hard. Yeah. It's going to be difficult to be able to take on a lot of stuff in terms of te reo, <clears throat> pronunciation, um, understanding tikanga and all that sort of stuff, but um, it will open themselves up to another world. Mm. Um, I, you know, um, but for us as outdoor educators, Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, worries. Yeah. You know, outdoor head, outdoors, being outdoors is who we are. Um, we're, we're another breed, I think. So, awesome. Oh, kia ora. Well, thank you so much, Kramer, for um, your time this evening. And we really appreciate you sharing um, your whakaro. So, yeah, thank you so much from myself and all the other people that uh, watch this um, wee video. Kia ora, tato.